this legit? What the hell is going on? Apparently, what apparently is Sky Sports said that a deal's close. What the hell is going on? Out of nowhere, Arsenal have just done... This video was about somebody else. And out of nowhere, this deal has come out of absolutely nowhere. Everyone is reporting that Arsenal have completed the signing of Fabian Varane. Fabio Ferrer, who is this? What? Arsenal have a valued release clause of 40 million euros. What? Let me show you. Let me show you what's going on right now. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on, people? Is this for Fitinia? Where the hell is this? Fabian Varane. Fabio Ferreira. Vieira. 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 Fabian Vieira. Apparently, what? Is this? Is this for real? How is this? How did? Where did this come from? Hey, is this? I don't really? think this is true. I don't know, man. Yeah, this, this I seems I a bit. <laughs> do do Arsenal move in silence? Yes, we did for Tommy nope. Asu. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> we did for Tommy Asu, though, em. That's a we did for Tommy Asu and Thomas Partey in a way he was linked with us, but you know there was on that final transfer deadline day he wasn't meant to be coming. But we don't. This is generally. crazy, boys. This is crazy. Arsenal just out of nowhere signed somebody. Wait, like wait, wait, wait. we heard nothing about this. <laughs> he's he's not holding up the shirt yet. I, we can't say he signed yet. But it, yeah, he, but he might as well do this the whole transfer window and just keep it quiet. <laughs> yeah, this is what? kind of crazy. What? If this is true, then they might as well do it more often. This is ridiculous, though. Like, when do you see Arsenal just out of nowhere have, like, a deal done? But but my question is, is this going to impact Tielemans or Jesus? Could that mean Jesus, the moment they had the Jesus deal rejected, they went for uh, uh, Fabian Vieira instead? We're going to need to dig deeper into Fabio Vieira. We need to... Because I, I'm all not too. Or they might just myself. be signing two midfielders this season. Is, what position does he play? He's not a striker. He's an attacking midfielder. That's what he okay. is. What? What? Like I? Okay, guys. Someone, is, yo, Tyreek, tell me what you know about this guy. So, hey, girl, I've got, I've got, I've got okay. to go back to work. So I'm... Vieira will be an Arsenal player. Vieira will be an Arsenal player. The agreement has been agreed. That is that is what he's saying. Tariq, you got something to share for us. What is this? It's coming from, from the Fabrizio man himself. Romano. Fabrizio Romano has tw tweeted it out himself. Arsenal are in advanced talks to sign Fabio Vieira from Porto. Sources now confirm Pedro, um, Pedro the, um, the journalist who reported this, Pedro's news talks in progress for Portuguese talented midfielder Fabio Vieira has already accepted the destination as he dreams of Premier League football. Big news, <laughs> live yeah. and direct. Bro, this is this is exciting. Even Fabrizio Romano has confirmed it. Exactly. Exactly. Wow, bro, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed Arsenal is set to sign Fabian Cavallo. Hey, hey, not, not, not Fabio Carvalho. That, that's the one who's at Liverpool. <laughs> Fabian, uh, Fabian uh, Vieira. Vieira. Come on. you got you got to know that name, Miguel. You have to say Fab. Just call him Vieira. Whoa. Vieira. Whoa. <laughs> he came from Porto Whoa. to play for Arsenal. Vieira. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so shocked still. I'm still yeah. shocked. I still can't believe it. It's like Arsenal's moving silent. In the transfer window, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. But what else do you? What else do we know about the guy? Let me let me let me see. What else can we find about him? What else can we find about him? Because we're gonna have to do. Uh, we're gonna have to do like a whole video on him, tactically breaking him down and everything. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Fifty-four appearances for the senior side in Porto, scoring eight goals. Let's um, see. So, so yes, last year he played twenty-seven games in the league. Got uh, six goals, seven, uh, 14 assists. So it looks like we're adding more uh, uh, more of an attacking outlet into the team. Right? Yeah. This is this is a first team player. This is not a player who's going to go into uh, as a prospect or anything like that. This is a player that a lot of people have heard of. He's been linked to Liverpool before. He's been linked to some of the top clubs in world football. He's 22 years old. Right? Um, 
let's see his transfer value. They value him at about 20, uh, 22.5 million, but we've, we got him for a little bit more than that. Look at all the places he's played in, in his career. He's mm -hmm. played as, a, he's played as a right winger. He's played as an attacking midfielder. He's played as a cam. He's played as a left midfielder. He's also played as a left back. So this is what, you know what this makes me think? He could play in that eight slash. He I could see. play in that eight slash. Um, Jacques, he could play in the Jaco role and in the Odegaard role. Mm -hmm. He's very versatile as well. We're seeing. Yeah. D does this mean Tillemans is off? Probably not. We're probably going to get both of them. I hope not. I hope it's not because I, I've kind of, you know, with Jay-Z and Tillemans mentally, I've kind of got them ready and thinking we're going to get these players. But hey, this is football. And it, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, but I don't think so. If our big, our, I'm sure every single one in. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find out more about the player. This is just. When you saw that heat map, he did play mostly on um, Erdegaard's side. But have a look in these, these photos that you're seeing. What side of the pitch is he on as well? Man. Oh, they're saying defensive contributions. He's up there also. Look at that. Oh, okay. Defensive duels one. He's in the 64 percentile. Let's go to, uh, what's that website called? Um, uh, National himself. So he's probably on the on the cusp of getting into that Portuguese side as well. Bro, this is like a Champions League level quality signing. Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. It's hey, he's played in the Champions League. I've, I can't. I've never seen him play. <laughs> I can't. I can't be. I can't, I've got to be honest. But I'm liking what I'm looking from this player profile. Um, Bro, I can't lie. This this has gotten me really excited. This got me excited. I'm not gonna lie to you. More about the player. Um, can you see what I'm showing you? So yes. they're saying his best his best ability is his vision, his dribbling, his agility, off the ball, technically the technical decision making, passing, balance and control, and he's good at set pieces. His weakness is aerial duels, um, and they're saying that he's twenty one years old, left footed, left footed. That's what makes me think about Xhaka when I see that left foot. Is he, is he left footed? Yeah. Interesting. See, left, left footed can play as a cam and a right mid, right? Maybe we're gonna transform him into a, a into a. a maybe no, we're gonna play. Maybe we're gonna play with. Uh, he, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna play him as a cam in that auto guard role, or maybe we could also use him as an alternative throughout the midfield options. Do you know what a lot of people are saying in, in the chat? A lot of people are saying in the chat, and is that is very is similar to a Bernardo Silva. Yeah, he's also linked to. Uh, um, he's uh, they're saying similarities. Uh, uh, uh Koku. Remember we were linked oh, to Oh, Erkan Kok. Yeah, Erkan Kochu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. I'll read this out for you. So, Arsenal final proposal submitted for Fabio Vieira, 35 million euros guaranteed plus add-ons. They will not activate the release clause for 50 million euros, but decided to negotiate with Porto. Porto are prepared to accept once final details on the payment terms will be discussed so that it's even cheaper than we initially thought it's 29 million pounds and 35 million euros for for fabio vieira right there so we could potentially this now this makes sense because if we're thinking about what arsenal need to do and how much money that we can see us spending i can't see us spending more than what we spent in last summer which was 150 million pounds but I think maybe we could match that, but definitely nowhere above, I don't think. So 29 million, let's say 30 million for Vieira, 25 million for Tielemans. So that's already 50, 55 million. And then you could spend another 45 to 50 million for Jesus. We're in the 100 million pound mark. And then that still leaves us money to sign a certain Brazilian right winger from Leeds, if, if that's still there. Or... If the scenario plays out and, you know, we're, we're in dreamland, a certain Serge Gnabry who plays at Bayern Munich as well. But people, you got you got to be excited now, right? I am excited. <laughs> I am excited. I'm fucking excited, bro. I'm so happy right now. It is true. I'm so happy right now. This is a big boy move. This is no joke. Mm -hmm. Damn. We, what do we we move where we move in? We move silent like lasagna, bro. <laughs> like lasagna.
<laughs> oh man, silence, people. This is it, man. Hey, and isn't it like the L in lasagna? <laughs> yeah, there is an L in lasagna. Yeah. Oh, man. big up everyone in the chat as well. Listen to the listen to the kid. He's working hard. He's streaming right now. We're streaming live, talking about Gabriel Jesus. I know we guys gonna have to change the title after this. <laughs> <laughs> because this has been crazy. And that timestamp of when we that news broke through, it's going to be hilarious. Get it clipped. <laughs> you guys can do that as well. But smash that like button, people. Thank you for all for all joining us. This has been great. You know great. what? This is, this, is, this is what my, my welcome to Fabian uh, thing is. This is my welcome to him. Um, <laughs> Arsenal took the approach. Arsenal took the approach. Uh, you know... The real G's move silent like lasagna. You get it? Yeah, man, I can't get you. <laughs> there, there is a the G's, yeah, lasagna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, yeah, 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 that's cool. But hey, big up to who's Ashani. This we're not delusional. We're just excited. We're not. We're not saying he is Bernardo Silva 2.0, but we're excited to see Arsenal making a signing in silence. For a player that's been, you know, who else he's been linked with? Oh, I've just seen when you was chatting about his um player comparisons. Manchester United were linked with him as well. Liverpool Manchester United. Manchester United. Yep, they were linked. So with you him know what that means uh, we can stick it on them. Exactly. Do you know how Tottenham fans were sticking it on us? <laughs> we can stick it on them. So yeah, um, we just signed the player. <laughs> Yo, people, this right here is big, big boy moves. Let's not <laughs> lie to ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves. Mm. The, the transfer window is officially open, guys. The transfer window is officially open. Fabrizio's tweet. Uh, literally, we have gone from linked to signed to medical in a matter of hours. <laughs> Shoot. And Mac said it. Mac said it himself. He went another L for Manchester United. They wanted Fabio and he chose Arsenal. <laughs> Where, where is that? Mac has said it in capitals above the hearty, uh, the hearty spur. <laughs> oh, bro. I am stealing that. I'm feeling that out right now. <laughs> hey, hey, Mac, we're all here. We're all here to, you know. When, when were they United. linked to him? When were United Yester linked to him? Yesterday. If you type in Fabio Vieira's name on, on Google, you'll see like there's quite a few articles linking him to Manchester United. They're considering Just yesterday? This. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yesterday you know yeah if you're probably going it now it's going to be littered with Arsenal um, because yeah how the news is broke but when I looked at it earlier there was a lot of talk about Manchester United I wonder how many people uh, I wonder how many people are, are googling this guy's name right now oh yeah a lot <laughs> okay. Cause, yeah because I, I can see it on the Manchester evening news here Manchester United considering a move for Fabio Vieira um, and other transfer rumours. So, yeah. No Fabio Vieira for United. Um, yeah. Af Afdelin Skills also said that Klopp wanted Vieira. If you got these types of... If you got Klopp saying that he wanted Vieira, not necessarily Manchester United, but when Klopp is saying it, you, you know he's a good player indeed. You know what? Do I really need to be sh shooting shots at these guys right now? Liverpool is definitely not a team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll pick my battles, ladies and gentlemen. Pick my battles. It's true. I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if there's much like heavy links to United. Doesn't seem like there's many heavy links. It's, it's, no, no, there isn't heavy links, but there wasn't really heavy links with anywhere for Fabio Vieira. It was all like really to paper talk and that. But now. <laughs> This is we moved in silence. He was he has not been linked with us previously before. I can guarantee you that. So this makes it extremely interesting. And Arsenal fans who said we don't move in silence, we do. We all, we we always do long deals out. We make them longer than we expect. Then we need to come on, people. This is this is put that, that put that notion to bed. We may do it in certain transfers. I agree, but not in all. Bro, I this is this is mad. This is this is another this is just crazy in my opinion. This is crazy. This is taking shit to another level of like silence because you would think there would be a little bit. Yeah. You think you'd hear about something. 
you think you would hear maybe just a peep, but not one word of this transfer came out until until it was, until it's already completed. Exactly that, and pe- and people don't get confused as well um, that we're not interested in Telemans. That's like that the deal isn't. Up. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna be back tomorrow around the same time. Actually, I can't come on tomorrow at two. What I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to do a late video at night. You guys stay tuned for that. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful show. Today was a great show. And I love to see all the support. Peace out, guys.